This is Tom Lamb with the Boston Herald here with Dan Ventura outside of Assabet Valley Regional High School. The landscape of football change in AMIA, Danny, were you surprised by the 161 to 131 advantage for the, uh, the change? Yeah, I am. I, I certainly thought it would be a lot closer vote than last time when it was 190, 114 opposed. I think what you saw is some people today took a, took a vote amongst themselves and then they realized, you know, we have to do what's best for our school as opposed to what may be best for the league. And I think that may have may have swayed enough votes that turned the margin in favor of the, uh, those in favor of the program. Is this a situation where the people that voted for it and won are going to be a lot happier than the people that are against it? Is it going to be that kind of wide margin? Oh, I, th I, th I think what you're going to have is there are a few people who voted no, but I don't think they're going to lose sleep over it. I mean, there are certainly some people, as we saw in there, were very affected by this. But then you get, you know, the guys who've pushed for this for years and years, you know, Charlie Stevenson, we saw Ray Casenza from Fitchburg go by. He said it was almost as exciting as winning a Super Bowl. So, I mean, for those people, you know, it's the culmination of years and years of hard work to see this go through. What do you think the major sticking point for uh, the proposal was, if you're a supporter? I think, the, I think the thing that, you know, they put, the fact that they pushed that more kids could play in a playoff, and, you know, they went after schools who've been 9-1, 10-1, and 9-2, and 8-3, and, and have not played in the playoff. When I mean, you contrast that to any other team sport where the first criteria is winning 50% of your games and you're in. And people against it, uh, Thanksgiving Day, keeping that tradition, and also kind of the, the juggling schedule that could happen after Thanksgiving. Yeah, there's, the there's, no, there's no two ways about it. Those who did not like the plan pointed to those two issues. You know, the relative uncertainty at the start of the year, who you, would you be playing in weeks 8 to 10, and the possibility, you know, we talked to Dave Lezinski at Bill Ricca, you know, having to play Chelmsford maybe twice, possibly even three times in a year, the big concern is the revenue on Thanksgiving. Would that be affected? You know, there are some people that say, oh, no, 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 it won't. But at the end of the day, nobody knows what happens if it truly is. And all of a sudden, at the end of the year, your school budget is $10,000 $10, short because of what you didn't get on Thanksgiving. Those are, you know, those people who kind of poo-poo that are kind of being arrogant about it because you don't know what's going to happen. Well, that's going to do it. Uh, this is a new change, a new landscape in the MIA for Dan Ventura. I'm Tom Lamb from Marlboro with the Herald Insiders. And Bruce Lurch behind and the Bruce scenes. And Bruce Lurch behind the scenes. <laughs>